Now if the bluegills aren't hitting a popper or a spider, go to a wet ant like this. It sinks and uh, you'll pick them up. Now they could be down you know, a foot or two and not come up the surface because of the rain. It is rainy today or a little wind action. So uh, they're in there. Try something a little different. All right. We've got another blue gun. So even though it's raining and you can't catch them with a top wire surface bait, uh, spider, dry fly, like I said, go to a wet ant. Um, I'm catching them here one right after another. Another real nice bluegill. Now when fishing with a, a wet fly, you need to have a visual sign, uh, a striker. What I use is the end of the uh, ply line, the green line, and you can see a stop up there. And when I'm bringing that in, if that straightens out, you know you got a hit. Just set the hook. And the difference between a dry fly and a, a wet fly or an ant is the ant sinks. Uh, the bluegills are not coming up to the surface today to hit the spider. So you get something that gets down there six inches and they will hit that. Okay, here we got another one on. These bluegills just fight, just circle and circle. Just incredible. Now here we got a crappie. Now this here isn't a, a real large crappie. It's also known as a speck or a speckled bass. I'd guess this would be about a, between a half and three quarter pound crappie. Get a better look at how big it is. Having fun with the fly rod.